Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's 30 minute total body strength workout. Okay, let's get ourselves warmed up. So just marching here. You can move off the spot if you like. Forward and back. Good. Now, so this is a strict strength training workout today. So I do have a selection of weights. So if you do, keep them handy as well. And you may be able to change up to a heavier weight or change back down if you feel like you need to. So we have 12 exercises. We're having a little water break today because I really feel with the strict strength training, sometimes I feel like I do my, depending on the exercises you pick, you may feel like a little rest in between and come back and do really good reps for round two. So have some water handy because we do have a water break coming up today. I actually have a chair. We're going to do chair hamstring curls. Now you can go to the floor for them if you don't mind going down onto the floor. So you might need a mat for that. Same thing, you're just down on the floor with your hands on the floor, curling back the leg. If you can't get to the floor, you can just join me here. I'll do them on the chair with you today. I have cushions. Now you might be wondering what they're for. The cushions there. We're going to do a dumbbell pickup today. Now, I haven't done a pickup in ages. Um, I usually stick to a dumbbell snatch, which means the, the weight doesn't actually go down to the floor, but this requires an awful lot of mobility in your hips. So if you're having trouble going all the way to the floor with your dumbbell, you can um, just put your dumbbell on a height, like a step, or I have two cushions here, just something simple as two cushions or a few uh, books, stack up a few books. Just make sure the dumbbell doesn't roll off, okay? Right, I think that's everything. Everything else is very, very straightforward today. Okay, so let's march it out, crisscross the arms. Good, I think the cushions are a good idea, or a towel, a towel's another good idea, like a, a big thick bath towel. It's just something that's not gonna make the dumbbell roll off on you, okay? You don't want that. That'll become very frustrating for you when you're trying to do the exercise. Push back now, we're gonna warm up these back muscles. Good, that's it. Drive those elbows back for me. Good work. Give me 10 seconds now, and we get into some knee across the body. Good. Pull back. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Now drive the knee across. Knee across. So what we're doing here is trying to increase the heart rate. That will get blood flowing around to all of these muscles, these major muscle groups that we're going to work today. Good. So knee across. Knee and knee. Good. Now pull your belly button in so you can actually feel some action going on around your core, your, the center of your body. That's it. Pull across, you can push the arms back and everyone to bring a little bit of triceps and shoulders into it. Push across, that's it, good work. And across, and across. That's it, keep going. Use your breathing, good. And across, well done. 10 seconds. Then we're taking it to two rainbow legs with a little seat or just a little mini squat in the middle. Okay, and four and three, two. Now line up those feet for me and then open, open, sit into a little seat. Open, open, sit down, good. That's it, open. Try and keep the hip bones facing the front, so keep your pelvis facing to the front here. Not too much rotation, that's it, good and open and open and sit down great that's it good and a little seat you don't have to sit down too far just really waking up the thighs there in the the bottom behind good and let's do two more and open and this is our last one good and then we'll just one side side step one side side step and we'll punch the air that's it, good. Punch and punch, that's it. So really just stretching out the torso here, waking up the shoulders a little bit. Punch out that air for me, good. Have to change now sides. So give me 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get ready to change now, two and one. Line up the feet. And we just balance out the body by doing the other side. That's it. Good work. Now keep going. Punch it out. Good. 
10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Now we have the feet about shoulder distance, good, now we're going to push the arms back, waking up that upper back, let the knees track out over your toes, that's it, push back, good. Now you should feel a little bit of work going on in your posture muscles, your trapezius and rhomboids. Those are the muscles in the upper back. Just gently retracting or pressing your shoulder blades together as the arms sweep back. That's it, good. And push back. Use your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do two more. And last one, now circle. Nice big circles. Good. And again, further work for the shoulders, getting them nice and warm. That's it, nice big circles all the way around. Good, now let's go the other direction, keeping the trunk upright. Don't dip into it, keep everything nice and tall. And around we go. Great, 10 seconds. We're going to do some leg swings, just for the hamstrings for mobility for the hips there as well. Three, two, and one. Now you can hold on to something here if you need to for leg swings. Kick forward, kick back. Don't worry about kicking back really high. And don't even worry about kicking high when you're going forward. You can keep the kicks right, nice and low. That's it, good. So a lot of people try and get really far back with the back swing, and then they end up then arching the back. So just be aware of that. Make sure you're not going to kick anything behind you. <laughs> Good. And kick. Now you feel a nice bit of freedom, a bit of flexibility coming into the hamstrings there. Keep that trunk upright for me as much as you can. Good. And kick forward, kick back. It's a lovely exercise. Very nice. It really works on this standing ankle as well. Good. Three, two, and last one. Okay, let's switch around. I think I'll use my chair here if I end up kicking everything forward and back. The chair is nice. It's actually at the exact, the, this chair anyway is at the nice, a nice height for me. Forward and back. Again, working on that trunk. Try not to dip down like this. Keep it up nice and straight. Good. And lift and lower. That's it. Feeling a nice bit of movement now. A nice bit of mobility coming into the hips. Good, 10 seconds. We'll do some side lunges, side steps. You start off with side steps, stay with side steps if you find lunging difficult. Three, two, and last one, okay. All right, now side step, we'll start off with these. Good, and over, and over, and over, good. Keep going. It. Now, you might be able to take it into a little lunge. That's it, as you feel some mobility coming into the inner thighs. That's it. Well done. Keep the chest up for me as always. Don't try not to sink down into the move here around your back. Keep your back, your shoulders and your back nice and upright. That's it. And two. And last one. Now again, feet about hip distance or shoulder distance. Just depends on your own anatomy. Some people just prefer it. Good. I want to slow this down, actually. Some people just prefer their feet a little bit wider. So instead of tapping out the toes, we we'll keep the feet still. And we'll bring it into a bit more of a dynamic stretch. Now make sure your tummy muscles are nice and switched on there. Now the first move we're doing today is a suitcase squat a calf raise. So a suitcase squat is just a narrow squat really, the legs are close to each other. Calf raise and bicep curl. So very, very much a full body compound move, getting a lot of muscle groups into the first exercise. Let's do our little stationary walks to warm up the calves. We do have a calf raise coming. We'll get further calf work here as well and it just helps to warm up those little ligaments, muscles and tendons in your feet, okay? All right, you keep going with that and I'll show you the first move. I'll show it to your body weight here. Anyway, narrow squat. So make sure that you stick your bum out behind you, okay? You don't want to be doing this. 
stick your bum out behind you down into your narrow squat calf raise uh, will happen with the bicep curl okay so those two will run together All right let's get going with it looking forward to working on the bit of strength 1545 is our sequence today and of course you can always reduce that work time or rest time if you feel that's too much or the other way around if you feel it's not enough okay all right so let's get going now nice straight backs okay narrow curl with the weights okay so bicep curl with the calf raise okay don't forget to come up onto your toes there narrow squat up onto your toes curl the weights at the same time you come up on your toes if you find that's making you fall forward we leave out the calf raise add it in at the end by themselves good and curl now keep your weights or your elbows tucked right in there to your rib cage good now we have a side lunge next with the same leg pendulum so we're going to be working a unilateral move next one side of the body first the first exercise i always feel is go so fast right side lunge now we did warm them up nicely there and then your pendulum you might be able to get it down a little deeper and then pendulum so just choose what weight you want to use with this move okay side lunge pendulum side lunge pendulum so i have the weights out in front and they're just adding resistance good just make sure the weights are not making you fall over when you lift that leg up we do need to bend slightly just to allow for range of movement for the lower half but you don't want to be overly bending like this okay use your tummy muscles to stop that so engage the tummy muscles pull them into your spine belly button to spine other leg is next good squeeze it out there good work you can really feel that side of the body working hard okay now you don't need if you don't want 15 seconds rest you can start the other side okay all right we get going all right it's up a little bit so i'm just doing little taps on the floor here okay side lunge and then that leg li lifting up good round two you might get a little deeper with your lunges if you're having trouble now remember just a little side step and a little leg lift you can put the weights down and put a chair out in front of you and use the chair to help you out a little bit good and lift well done and lift now we've got some dive unders coming next so i don't think i've done those in a little while i actually introduce those or i bring those into cardio workouts and uh, strength as well but with the strength ones i add the weights now if your hands or your wrists are, are needing a break already put down one of the weights and hold it out like this dive under imagine you've got a rope above your head and you're diving under now you can just do a little step over if you find that's too much mobility for your hips dive under or just a little step over okay imagine there's a step there step over it okay if you're going under you've got this rope you've got to clear that's it good work do you feel how much work is going on in the hips this one might be even fine just doing a body weight it's a very very powerful move there for the lower half good get your heart rate up to double dumbbell swing next you can do a single swing if you find the double is a little bit too hard for you or you're just still learning the single swing good well done so a single swing from side on just one dumbbell coming between the legs using those hips to fire off double getting two okay and we just let them come between the legs and again same technique don't round your back okay keep your back nice and straight good and squeeze with those glutes squeeze good work that's it keeping the back straight abdominals engaged letting those knees track out over the shoelaces there or the toes of your barefoot good squeeze it out squeeze it out good work come on you can do it and 
squeeze your bum. Good. This will get your heart rate up a little bit. So just sending those hips forward. Split squat is next. Now this is a very advanced exercise. So I would be wary of what weight you use if you're not used to it. If you can't do squats, put a chair out in front. Now when I say split squat, it is more of a lunge. Up and down, leave out the arm, hold on to a chair and just go up and down a little bit, okay? If you've been with me for a while, try this one. Good, down and up, down and up, good work. Use the other arm for balance, look forward, find a fixed spot, good work push that weight up. Now if you go very heavy and you're not used to this, you might find you'll keep falling over. Start off with body weight and maybe introduce a light weight. This is a kilogram, about two pounds. Other leg is next. Good work. Okay, well done. It's a tough exercise. It's quite advanced. Okay, take a breather. Make sure you've switched your dumbbell over to the other hand now. Let's get into position because it can take a little while to get into it. Engaging your tummy muscles, other hand out for balance and reach up. Now we've got two rounds of this today. Good, take your time, nice and slow. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Push that weight over your head. This will truly, really and truly test your balance and your coordination. That's it, good. Don't worry if you have to use a chair. I'm years and years doing this exercise. So I've built up balance, built up coordination and strength. It does take a lot of patience and effort to get to a certain level. And that's, that goes for any exercise, really, doesn't it? Okay. Now we have some tricep extensions. Now you have an option, you can go for two lighter weights or go for a one heavier weight. I like the one heavier weight that's fixed. Okay, it's fixed in place. Your hands are very, very much guided by the dumbbell so they're not flaring out to the side. Tuck them in. So you don't want them coming out to the side. It's too hard to do actually one dumbbell. That's what I like about doing it. So that's why I've picked one heavier one Bring that weight up to the ceiling. Oh, heart rate's high after the, those split squats. I feel quite winded. Keep breathing if you do as well. That's it, good work. Now we have that dumbbell pickup next. We're alternating the sides. That's what makes it different from the dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell snatch, I usually um, leave the weight. It doesn't go down to the ground. That's what makes it different from the pickup. Okay, so here's the cushions. If you're not able to go all the way to the ground, just place the dumbbell on the cushion. All right, so keep your back straight. Bend down, pick it up, reach up. Put it down on the ground and reach up. So it's a quick exchange onto the cushion. Stick your bum out behind you. Keep your back very straight and reach up to the ceiling. That's it. So we're just picking up the dumbbell. Let it touch, let it come in contact. Hold your squat for a second. That builds up tremendous strength and mobility in your lower body. Let it go down, even take your hand away. That's it, good. Switch and reach. Well done. You might feel a little winded after it because you're working such big major, major muscle groups. And there you go, okay. Right, now we have our hamstring curls. So you can go down onto a mat on the floor. If you're on a carpet, you'll be fine. All right, hands flat on the chair. And we're going to curl the leg. I'm starting with the right leg. I'll do left round two, because I want to focus on one leg here. I don't want to keep switching. Let's get the other opposite foot. Make sure the opposite foot is comfortable before you start. Now the challenge here is keeping the leg up. Now I can see myself in the camera monitor, but you might think you're doing great, but your leg could be all the way down here. So try and keep it up. That's it. Push back, draw that heel to your bum. Good, heel to bum. 
Well done. Focus. Keep going. We've got an upright row into bicep curl next. So we're going to burn out that upper body next. Those arms and shoulders. Good work, okay? I'm <laughs> really feeling that leg. All right, left leg round two. All right, so we've got an upright row and then into bicep curl. Okay, we get ready for it. Let's go. Upright row, bicep curl. And I'm really I'm glad the lower half's having a little rest here. That's it. Upright row. Good. And row it. Curl. And row. And I like to keep a little gap between the dumbbells when I'm doing an upright row. I just really think it takes pressure off the collarbone when you do that. That's it. A lot of people complain about impingements with upright row. Even some people go as far as saying it's not a safe exercise. But everybody's different. And you've got to listen to your body. And I just find myself, I have that little gap between the, the weights. It's perfectly fine for me. Good. Will we just finish out the bicep curl? Well done. Now, last exercise. I'll challenge myself. I'll stay with these. Sit your hips back. Back row. Sorry, back row. And then back again into a tricep kickback. So we're going to row. Bring the weights back up into kickback row first back up so it's nearly like a double row isn't it good row back up kick back and then row your weights back up kick back good and then up and into kick back good keep the elbows close to the body oops i think i missed one there did i row back up and kick back come on keep going two rows there kick back well done why well, the triceps are on fire okay let's have a little break especially for those grip strength have a little drink of water we'll hydrate the body and i will see you back here in a moment hello everybody you're very welcome back now let's get going with round two okay 15 seconds to get ready and if you've forgotten exercise one it's the narrow squat calf raise bicep curl all right lovely lovely compound exercise right, let's get ourselves ready for narrow squat weights down by your side tummy muscles are engaged let's go calf raise bicep curl sit those hips down Good, and again, like I say, if you're finding the calf raise is a little bit too hard, combining all three moves, leave the calf raise out, calf raise out, and you can just get it in yourself, or even during a cool down. I mean, I like to do that in my cool down. Sit down. Good. Tucking in those elbows, protecting those elbow joints for me. Sit yourself down. Curl. Now when you're sitting down, your head is held up nice and high and your back is very straight. And there you go, well done. Now we have the side lunge. We'll start on the left this time, just so we're not always starting on the dominant side. So it's this, oops, catching on the floor there. Side lunge or side step, pendulum, okay? Now you might try, you might be able to go deeper. Stay on one side now, keep it basic. Let's just focus on one side. That's it. Can you get a little deeper with those lunges? Remember, you can always put the weights down and use the chair out in front or a countertop or a wall. Just something that will add, provide a little bit of assistance for you. Good. And keep going, come on. Really working on one side here, putting a lot of emphasis into those muscles in the groin and our glute medius, glute minimus. They're the small little muscles that run the outside of the upper leg. And we'll just finish it off here. Great, okay. Now, if your wrists are still feeling a bit fatigued, put them down, you can put the weights down all together if you want to. Pick them up when you're ready. Don't put them on the floor though. Make sure you have something like a chair or a countertop that you can put them up and down on. That's what I do. Okay and side leg lift good side leg lift come on keep going with it 
squeeze it out you see a little squeeze there that's it good and engaging those muscles make sure your tummy muscles are engaged as well so you don't tip over well done now if the dive under is coming next if you found using two weights was a little bit overwhelming for your round one and your back was starting to round and you're starting to feel the lower back put down one weight do it body weight even keep it safe and we'll fit in that side leg raise good now that's what i'm going to do we'll try it with the one weight if the back starts to kick in just go body weight okay now again you don't have to be doing huge big moves you can do a little step across remember that step across then as you get stronger you might be able to bend your knees a little bit more that's it good under now just imagine that rope above your head you have to clear that rope good take your time with it nice and slow good <laughs> keep going you really do feel a lot of work there in your hips your inner thighs your quads there that's your thigh muscle is the front glutes as well not to mention your ankle mobility and your tummy muscles it's, oh my goodness it's amazing upper half is engaged as well holding and gripping this dumbbell good work now we have the double swing so back to two keep your back straight now when you're swinging okay nice straight back all right sometimes i like to grip the dumbbells down with the, at the bottom but it's very very challenging so i find i get more freedom with a swing but if your hands are very sweaty they might start slipping and moving away on you good watch your back here now keep your back straight stick your booty right out behind you keep your back straight good come on you can do it squeeze release squeeze keep going come on you're doing great let those knees track outwards don't let the knees cave in good last few seconds split squats coming next there you go you made it through well done well done it's very challenging holding the dumbbells like that but it's an option if you find the other way awkward okay let's get into split squat all right i'm going with the right leg behind me left leg in front you can do single arm if you want to oh i've actually picked up two weights i think round one eight only one you can pick up two and do this version of it or leave one still and just go with one weight whatever you want yourself good that's it finding that balance taking your time slowly go down that's it down slowly don't bang your knee off the floor if you're that flexible good this is actually one of my favorite strength exercises when i'm not shooting for youtube i i do this exercise a lot i really do good and finish it out Ooh, well done you really feel the leg burning with it okay remember body weight now if you're only learning how to do it all right don't try and uh, add too much volume onto your body in the early stages okay reach we go with two two or you can do one at a time i sometimes find that helps with balance doing one at a time or you can stick with just one side like we did in round one i'm fully sure that's what we did good now we have our triceps coming up next so we use one dumbbell one heavier dumbbell to lock those elbows in good come on keep going Ooh, feeling that back leg working hard here for the last few seconds keep your eyes to the front once i looked at that stopwatch i lost my balance so keep your eyes to the front okay what did i say was next tricep okay all right reach up now remember keep the back nice and straight that's it good abdominals pulled in and nice long arms to the ceiling good keep those elbows 
tucked in there now. Good work. So if you're using individual dumbbells, the tendency is to let the elbows come out to the side. So you've got to imagine you're doing this exercise in a very tight space and you can't move left or right. Now we've got the, the pick up next, the alternating dumbbell pick up. Good. A nice extension up to the ceiling. Well done. Extend. And we'll finish that out there. Okay. Now the pick up. So if you find going to the floors was tricky for you, try it with the cushions there, like I suggested, round one. Watch for lights now above your head here with this one. I'll face you this time. I think you've been a good idea at the back positioning. Right. Reach up. And reach. Good. And exchange hands. That's it. Good work. And the other side. Come on, you're doing great. This is wonderful exercise. It may look very advanced, but just keep raising the dumbbell up higher. And that just makes it that little bit more beginner friendly. And up, make sure you put it down. Yeah, I sometimes have a tendency to exchange the dumbbell in, in the middle of the exercise. I have to keep telling myself, put it down, put it down. Okay, well done. And that's that one. All right, now the hamstring curls on the chair. So again, if you find it, we're doing the other leg now, left leg, if you find the chair is a little bit too easy for you, you can go down to the floor, same thing, hands flat on the floor, your knee on the floor. Just coming up onto a height makes it that little bit more beginner friendly again, or, you know, not just beginner, but just in case you don't have the mobility for getting up and down off the floor as well. Now, try and keep that height in your leg. Your back is flat, neck is relaxed. Slight bend in those elbow joints. And push and bring back in. Extend, curl that heel to your bum. Good. Two moves left after this. We've got that upright row bicep curl. Well done, okay. Excellent work. Oh, I'm really feeling the back of the legs. All right, now we have that upright row and bicep curl. Oh, it's very warm here at the moment. We're not used to this heat at all. It makes exercising very challenging. Good. And I, of course, I have the addition of the lights here, the studio lights, the camera. It's really heating up the place. Good work. Now, upright row. Curling those arms, that's it. Lovely, lovely upper body exercise. So we're hitting the, obviously the biceps with the curling, bicep curl. And then we rotate the weights, hitting those posture muscles, traps and rhomboids there in your upper back, your shoulder region, that's great. Getting a lot, fitting it a lot into a short amount of time. And we'll get another rep in. Good work, brilliant. Now, back row, tricep extension, or tricep kickback, I should say. More triceps. So get ourselves into position. Draw your belly button to your spine. Hips back, two rows, one, two. Bring them up then, kick back. Row, row, kick back. I think I have that right. <laughs> row. Now kick back, there you go. So I'm doing a one full row, then sort of like a partial row, and then kick back. That's what I, that's what I think I tended to do, I'm not sure. We'll just go with it for this one. Good. And row, half row, I can kick back. Here we go, one. The back is really getting a nice bit of work here. That's it kick back and we get one more we just fit one more in well done and another big dumbbell clap to you that was a great strength workout really feeling every muscle so well done to you well done i hope you're feeling all those muscles getting a good job there today Whew, the sweat is this has got to be one of the sweatiest workouts i've done here for lively ladies okay it's very humid I'm going to get myself another drink of water. Do your cool downs. I'll link up my cool downs 
in the playlist below the video you'll find a nice uh, oops what are we doing now you'll find a nice playlist there for you to work with okay and uh, if you liked today's strength workout don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it really does help the channel i really do appreciate all the thumbs up that you're giving me and it just allows the channel to be pushed out to more ladies just like yourself who'd like to keep fit and strong drink your water like i'm saying it's so important to hydrate in these temperatures or any time and uh, just allow for muscle recovery and i will see you in the next workout have a lovely day and i'll see you soon